what's up folks welcome back to the channel so today we're going to work on getting our character into the engine and getting us a few steps closer to building out different systems that involve like first person shooters third person shooters top down or whatever the case so let's go ahead and get started with that we're going to be using fuse as our character creator um, because it's readily available for free as well as make human and dad's 3d but those will be separate videos so what you want to do first is download fuse if you don't already have it and get your character created through the creator now if you're using something else or if you have your own uh, character already created that's fine but we're going to be using fuse now what i'm going to do is go to the website download one of their already made characters it's the same formula as using mixamo or pops possibly any other uh, DCC but I'm just gonna use that because it's for testing purposes and to get you guys started so let's go ahead and open up that window and as you can see we had Mixamo and we want to go to characters and just choose any one of the characters I actually chose well not red but I chose XO gray so if I go to my assets and go to download you see XO gray here go ahead and download it it's going to pop up in your downloads folder and what you want to do is copy that and put it inside of the objects folder or any created folder that you have for Amazon Lumberyard and let it import that way so if you look here you'll see that I have uh, two characters which one is my tester which is a tune guy which is basically from Mixamo Fuse and I use the tune version of a, 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 a boy or a young man and then I use XO Gray here and just put them in there. Once you drop them in there, open up Lumberyard and it should import through the asset processor. Once you do that, go to Samples Project. I have it in Objects under C Studios under Mesh. And as you can see, move this over. We have two characters. So we have Toon Guy and we have XO Gray. So if I drop down on XO Gray, we have the calf, which is the animation, which we won't be using because it's probably just a T pose. And we have the uh, .chr, and then we have the skin. When the chr is a skeleton, we have the material, and then we have the skin. So those are the majority files that we need to get started. So I believe I made note on the update for 1.9 that they got rid of needing. Uh, certain transformations or orientations for our meshes when we import them um, But keep in mind that Amazon Lumiart runs on a Z up Y forward access conversion so if you want to keep everything aligned and everything um, I guess simple import the characters into your DCC of choice and make sure that your orientations are zeroed out for one and make sure that your mesh is pointing Z up and Y forward now that's not necessary as you can see that I just imported the mesh as is I'm not even sure what Mixamo does but um, as far as like the access uh, conversion but as you can see I just imported it in there and it works but if you want to keep things simple and want to keep everything aligned with the engine import into your DCC blender moto or whatever and make sure that your Z is up and your Y is forward well, I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. Uh, part two will be releasing within the next half hour. I did it so when you go to my videos on my page, it all lines up with part one, part two, part three. So they will drop about a half an hour behind each other. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button. We are growing at a slow but steady pace. Um, so it, it helps a lot. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And as always guys, keep developing. Check you guys next time.